having a pogo stick race in the meadow. Elma was especially excited to wear her new necklace. Hi, Egbert. Want to race with us? No, thank you, Puppy Cat. I have very important stuff to do. All right. Bye. <laughs> oh. What's tomorrow, Mal? My stick seems to have lost its pogo. No, it didn't. You're just doing it wrong. <laughs> Oops. Congratulations, Alma. Thank you, Mo. Alma, what happened to your necklace? Oh, it's right. Oh, no! It's gone! It must have fallen off in the meadow while we were racing. But that was a genuine blue pearl necklace. It came in my cereal box. Oh, I love that necklace very much. Alma, I know it's not a necklace, but would you like my lucky chewy bone? No, thank you, Zuzu. I know how much you love that chewy bone. How about my new key? You could wear it around your neck. Thank you, Mo. You keep your key. It's fine. I don't need a necklace. That's the spirit. Forget about that necklace. I'm sure someday you'll find an even better one. Wait, that's a great idea, Owl. How about we go on an adventure to find a treasure chest full of sparkly necklaces? <gasps> you mean like buried treasure? Yes. Oh, oh, can we be pirates? Pirates? I don't think that's a good idea. It's not. It's a fantastic idea. Lead the way, Poppy. All right, then. We're off to find buried treasure. But first, we're going to need a sailing ship. Welcome aboard, pirates. Now, all we have to do is find the buried treasure. How will we do that, Captain Poppy? With this treasure map, of course. You see, this is the ocean where we are. And we want to get to this island where the treasure is buried, near a bunch of coconut trees. Sounds very complicated. That dangerous. Are you sure you wouldn't just rather have my key? No, but thank you. I've always wanted to be a pirate. Oh, I've been struck by a marshmallow. Where are all these marshmallows coming from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surrender at once! This is I, Admiral Itchy Beard, the most scary pirate on the seas! It's Edgar! I know not of this egg, but I am Admiral Itchy Beard! And this is my equally scary parrot, Longbeak Silver! Scary indeed. Your bird is made from cardboard. This parrot is not made of cardboard. Have a listen. Scott! 
He's a very bad pirate! Watch out! But, Egbert, we're searching for buried treasure! Susu, don't tell him! He'll be worried. <gasps> Nothing. You are all keeping secrets. No, we're not, Admiral Itchybeard. We're on our way to find a buried treasure. Why don't you come along and help us find it? I'll take that back. I'm afraid you have it upside down. Real pirates read their backs upside down. Right, Lugbeak? Spock, whatever you say, you're the smartest pirate ever. I really cannot bear another minute of that make-believe bird. We should be going this way. I don't mean to tell you how to be an admiral, but according to the map, we're supposed to be going the other way. Never buy that silly bat. I know the right way to go. Oh, very nice, Itchy. You've steered us right into the fog. I can't see a thing. I don't know which way to go. We have to get out of here. Quick! We shouldn't go anywhere if we can't see. But what about the sea monster? Sea monster? Yes, there once was a terrible thick fog. So thick you couldn't see very far at all. Like this one? Exactly like this one. When suddenly, out of the fog came a giant sea monster. <gasps> The sea monster climbed on board the ship looking for something to eat. And what do you think it ate? Pickle! Pudding? Please don't say mice. No! Pirates! It was a pirate eating sea monster. It wants to eat the most scary pirate ever. Which I believe would be you. You said so yourself. I did? I'm getting out of here! But, Egbert, don't you want to come look for buried treasure? Uh, I think I hear my mum calling. Well, one problem solved. But we're still stuck in the fog. I wish I didn't lose my necklace. Then we wouldn't be out here looking for buried treasure. Land ho! Uh, I think. But I don't see any land. <gasps> wow! <laughs> There's the island. Look! <gasps> 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 where the treasure is buried. You're doing a fine job there, Zuzu. Keep it up. Oh, I hit something. It's the treasure chest. I'm too excited to look. Nice work, Zuzu. Mo, tell me, are the necklaces too beautiful for words? I can't say. They're locked inside. I'm sorry, Alma. I know how much you wanted a new necklace. Oh. Wait, I still have my key. <laughs> Alma, why don't you open it? <gasps> oh, it's more gorgeous than I ever dreamed. Oh, thank you, Poppy Cat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, you get the first one. Oh, thank you, Alma. Here, Zuzu, you have this one. And Mo, you have this one. And Owl, this 
is absolutely perfect for you. Well, I never turned down the chance to look like a king. Come on, everyone. Let's do a pirate dance. Arr. So Puppy Cat and her friends put on tons of sparkly necklaces and shiny crowns and danced under the coconut trees until their legs got tired. And when they got back to the garden, everyone thanked Poppy for the most wonderful adventure ever. And they all planned to go on another extraordinary adventure tomorrow. The end! Laura, time to go! Coming! That's all the story I have for you today, Poppy Cat. Poppycat and her friends were playing on the slide in the garden. <laughs> it's awfully high. I can't do it. Come on, Mo. It's so fun, really. It is? Oh, yeah. Give it a try. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Nice work, Mo. You're right. Look at that Mo. was quite oh. fun. Oh, I'm sorry, Mo. Are you okay? Yes, but I don't think I want to slide anymore today. Then why don't we do something else, like go on a great adventure? Oh, oh, I know. Let's go to France, where I can practice speaking French. You speak French? Only few words, but they're gorgeous words. I know of a mountain in France that is made out of cheese. A cheese mountain? I've never heard of such a thing. I do enjoy a bit of cheese salad again. I could eat cheese every day. I could eat cheese for breakfast and lunch and dinner. I'd even eat my foot if it was made from cheese. Ew. Ew. A trip to France is a great idea. <laughs> Hi there, Egbert. Would you like to come on an adventure to Cheese Mountain? No, thank you. I've got more important stuff to do. Like give this rock a bath. Good. More cheese for us. We're off to Cheese Mountain then. But first, we're going to need a hot air balloon! <laughs> I'm Captain Poppy, here to welcome you aboard my balloon. Merci. That's how people in France say thank you. Owl, why are you holding a stick? This is my weather stick. It tells me everything I need to know about the weather. What does it tell you about today? It says to expect sunny skies all the way to France. Is everyone ready? Ready. Ready. Then we're on our way to Cheese Mountain! Au revoir! That's how you say goodbye, French. Who are you saying goodbye to? 
No one. I just like saying au revoir. Au revoir. Goodbye, no one. Going to get some cheese. Hang on, everyone. I'm going to make the balloon go a little higher. Is that really necessary? What's wrong, Mo? I don't like to be high up in the air. What's so scary about flying? Just about everything. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. We've got plenty of hot air. And this balloon is very strong and safe. Yeah, watch. <coughs> oh. Uh, okay. Don't watch that. Mo, maybe if you close your eyes, you won't be so afraid. Really? Yes, I'll do it with you, Mo. It's no use. I'm still scared. My weather stick is telling me that there's trouble ahead. What kind of trouble? Rain? Snow? No, something much worse. Egbert. See, my stick never lies. <gasps> I've got Egbert. I'm Captain Buzzy, chief of the bee police. And I would like to know what you're doing here. We're going to Cheese Mountain. I wasn't told about this. Why do you need to be told? Because I am Captain Buzzy and this is my sky. Egg, uh, I mean, Captain Buzzy. Everyone knows that no one owns the sky. That's where you're wrong, Puppycat. These creepers say I do. Show us where it says that. Sorry, it's written in special bee language that only I can understand. You are all under arrest. I'm taking you and your balloon to my police station. Not good. I've never been this high up. Nothing can happen. I'm safe as can be. As long as I sing, no harm comes to me. Captain Buzzy, that's not how you fly a hot air balloon. I know how to fly a hot air balloon. I was just testing it. Now, which one of these do I put? Oh, not that one. Egbert, you've done it again. I don't know what you're talking about. But lucky for you, the chief of bee police has more important things to do than boss around here. Goodbye. There, we've landed. Hooray! Oh, thank goodness. Come on, everyone, let's go. I smell cheese. That's because we're on Cheese Mountain. <laughs> One chunk of French cheese coming up. Mo, would you like the first bite? Mm -hmm. oh, delicious. Yay! Mm, thank you, Poppy. Mm -hmm. Owl? What does your weather stick say about that noise? My stick says that noise is a bear. Run! The balloon's flying away! I'll get it. Why 
Why did I do that? Oh no! Oh! I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be brave. You can do it, Mo! That's what you think? <sighs> Wait, I am brave. Yes, nice. Let's talk about it on the way home. Au revoir, Bear! Merci, Poppy. Why are you thanking me? If it wasn't for you, I might still be afraid of flying, which I'm not. I'm glad, Mo. Everyone, hang on! We're going home! So Poppy flew her friends all the way home in her beautiful balloon. She was very glad to have friends who liked going on adventures. And her friends were glad to have a friend like Poppy. The end. Just like I'm glad to have a friend like you. Yeah. <laughs>